Hello? Are you guys there? What's up guys, it's Chris with Palmer Aquatics and the fish tank madness continues. Obviously, right, you can never have enough fish tanks in your house. Don't listen to your spouse. Uh, just keep adding more and more. No, I'm kidding guys. So I've been keeping this really crazy fish in the house lately and it's known as a pea puffer. These things are just small little predator vicious killers. And it's like, I swear to God, can I not keep a tank mate with this little tiny fish? All right, so here's my pea puffer aquarium. What I'm gonna do is kind of fake them out a little bit like I'm going to feed them, but I'm actually not going to. I will in a couple minutes, don't worry. This is really the only way I can kind of get them to come out and get some good footage of them while I talk about keeping them with other fish. As you can tell right away, the pea puffers come right up to the food. They know exactly what's happening and they seem really intelligent. That was the first thing that I noticed with keeping pea puffers. And you can also notice right away that they are super inquisitive, almost like they're constantly being bored. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is this is a pretty smart fish. It kind of blew me away by how intelligent they were. And they were just constantly like skimming through the tank and looking at things to screw with, uh, snails to pick on, plants to munch on. These guys get bored. They're super, super inquisitive in that, I think is a problem when it comes to keeping pea puffers with tank mates because they never stop screwing with their environment. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is how territorial these little carnivorous monsters can be. And it's especially crazy when they're trying to breed. It's uh, There's multiple things working against this fish with keeping it with tank mates. Number one, they screw with everything out of boredom. They're super inquisitive. Number two, they're extraterritorial because they're carnivorous. They're almost like female betas. They, out, like, they want their own territories and coverage is a huge, huge deal in the tank. I would advise you keep them in a heavily planted tank. That is hands down the best route to go. And there's one more variable left that make it difficult to keep the pea puffer with other fish. And that is these fish are somewhat difficult to sex. And what I'm talking about is telling the difference physically by looking at the fish, the difference between male and female. And I know some people are saying, hey, Chris, I can tell the difference between male and female. It's easy, man. Like you're being stupid. Well, here's the deal. When these fish are somewhat juvenile in their youth stages, it is more difficult to sex them. And yes, you might think it's a male or female and be super certain and things change and aggression levels are way different than you think. Uh, I just hear this from a lot of people and I also see it a lot of times in the Facebook groups. So to sum up my answer on what tank mates to keep with pea puffers, my answer is going to be none. These fish just make for the perfect recipe to not be kept with other tank mates in a community style tank. And yes, I've been doing a lot of testing, a lot of reading in the forums. You know, I like to deep dive and kind of debunk a lot of this stuff people uh, just preach about because it gets annoying. But this is one of those fish that I stress not to keep with anything. I tried guppies, they murked and killed the guppies. I tried different kinds of snails, large size snails. The problem is with these pea puffers is out of pure boredom, they will take little chomp, chomping bites out of things, out of pure boredom. And it's like, they have these little beaks filled with razor sharp teeth and they kill stuff in the process and if i'm being honest they're actually killing the plants because they're getting bored maybe they're not being fed enough i feed them like every other day and they're getting fed good carnivorous foods but they're taking bites out of the plants and the plants are actually dying back from it if you're going to keep them in a heavily planted tank like i advise you do uh maybe get a super sturdy plant like an amazon sword or jungle veil or something you know not it needs to be a sturdy sturdy plant because as you can see some of these plants are dying back in here and i might wind up moving these fish out of here just because um i'm having issues but yeah guys there are other projects going on here and you can check out my other youtube channels because i do post videos on my other two channels um i am building this custom 10 gallon aquarium rack i'm super motivated to build this um it's a cool build everything's built into the wall i have outlets wired to timers this is like just i'm building things that i'm dreaming about now that i have my own house to kind of just do whatever i want and 
it, this stuff is just awesome. I love it. If you guys like this, consider subscribing to the other channels. Um, I do have the Palmer Aquatics Clips channel. Um, this Look for this video on this particular build. It's probably going to be named the 10-gallon aquarium rack build for my dreams. I have no idea what I'm going to title it yet, but uh, this is what I do, guys, every single day, essentially. I just I go looking for driftwood. I go kayaking. I look for cool native plants. I am just experimenting, deep diving. Um, I understand that tons of people have been bugging to come over to the house and kind of see my progress, but I'm not letting anybody in here yet just because... Um, yeah, I'm just doing my own thing right now and kind of just vlogging it on the YouTube channel to kind of show my experience. Here's Avery. God bless her. I love her to death. God dang it. Um, but yeah, here's me wiring it. Uh, we did a lot of these dirt tanks or actually we did all six of these tanks dirt setups because I've been absolutely obsessed. There's my little girl playing with some black sand. Um, but yeah, this is a super cool build uh, close to my heart. What I'm probably going to do is set up all these tanks and keep guppies in them until I kind of have them more seasoned. And then I'm going to get some fancy betas. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Please let me know in the comment section what you think of keeping pee puffers with tank mates in a community tank.